All right, what's up, Blender Savages? Let's make a sea turtle. Totally, dude. Whoa. All right, so here we have the cube. Make sure number lock is always on on your number pad. Three on the number pad for right view. Decimal key on the number pad is zoom in center. There we go. Now let's take this to edit mode. So I'm at the tab key on my keyboard tab. And remember, you can also go up here and toggle between edit mode and object mode. All right, so I want to get two loop cuts going around here. Two cuts going up and down all the way around the cube there from right view. So hover your mouse over the top or bottom edge. Hit control R. There it is. There's one cut there. I want two. So a couple ways you can do that. You can spin the wheel on your mouse. Or you hit the plus sign on the number pad. I just want two. You hit the minus key on the number pad and then you get less. All right, so I want two there. I'm going to hit enter two times real quick. Enter, enter. Cool. So I committed to the location of the cuts and the number of cuts. All right, so I want to drag select this whole uh, front side here. So three for right view. I'm going to activate the wireframe so I can see through it. Shift Z. Hold on, Shift. Hit the Z key. There we go, Shift Z. I'm going to create a drag selection on the left side here. Hold down the left mouse button and drag across the left side here. Boom. All right. And this is going to be the head. This is the side of the head. Over here is going to be the front of the head. I got a handout here that I made. So we're going to pull the head out by one blender unit. It's going to be G. Y minus one enter. So it's G for grab, G activates the grab tool. Y snaps it to the Y axis, then minus Y, we tell you want to go a uh, minus one blender unit in this direction. Okay, so there's one unit from there to there. That's what we just did. Now we're gonna scale this down a bit. We're gonna scale it down to 0.5. So it's gonna be S, 0.5 enter. So half the size of that, 50%. And then we're going to make a little more narrow along the x-axis. So I'm going to hit 1 for front view. I'm going to hit S and then X. So it snaps to the x-axis. 0.6 enter. 0.6 enter for 60% of the original size there. So there you go. It's already looking like a turtle's head there. All right. So what we're doing next. All right. We're going to add a loop cut down the middle. So I'm going to hit 1 for front view. We're going to add a loop cut here. Control R. Enter, enter. Cool. So now we got a loop cut there down the middle on the head of the turtle. All right, then I'm gonna drag select the two vertices there on the front. Now I'm gonna hit three for right view and I'll pull them up to try to make the little snout of the turtle there. All right, one for front view. Turn off the wireframe, Shift Z. There we go, and I'm gonna drag select these two here. Oh wait, I need to add another loop cut in there. So this one has another loop cut in there. Yep, forgot about that other loop cut there. One for front view, need to get one going through here. Control R, enter, enter, there we go. And drag select these two here. There we go. So to get the one across, the loop cut across, I'll do that again. Hover your mouse over a vertical edge. Control R and just enter, enter two times. It'll cut directly down the, the middle there. All right, drag select these there. Cool. So I got the, those two there selected. Three for right view. And then G for grab. You can just freehand this one. You can move it up forward, up top. Depends however you want your snout to look. It's going to be your turtle snout here. There we go. So that's cool with me there. Turtle enough for me. You can play around with those vertices there, pull them out and make them a little wider and stuff. All right, so now I'm gonna make the part of the head here a little bigger, uh, but 10% bigger, so that's S, 1.1 enter. So it'll make it 10% bigger. So Shift Z for the wireframe, drag select these there. Hold on the left mouse button and drag across. S, 1.1 enter, there we go. And I think I drag select these here on the bottom. Let's see what I got here. Yeah, drag select those there. And then we're just going to make them more narrow along the x-axis, which is the uh, left and right from the front view. And there we go. So you can freehand it too, or you can use the, uh, you can be uh, modular there with the tools. S, X for the x-axis, you can just do that. Or just 0.5 there. And you got a good turtle head there. Shift Z for solid view. And there we go. You want to pull the top of it up here too. Let's see what I got over here. So then I start making the uh, the neck. So we're gonna scale down by 80% the back part, and then we're gonna extrude it out by three blender units. All right, three for right view. Shift Z, drag select that there. S 0.8 enter. There we go. Got that right. And then extrude by three blender units, and then scale it down to 0.7. All right. E3, enter, S, 0.7, enter. There we go. Got a good turtle head there. And if you lie, you can play around with these other uh, vertices there. 
key for grab, pull them up. Maybe you want to pull the ones up on the side. Kind of looks like a snake head too. You can add additional cuts in there and do other stuff with that as well. So remember it's control R to add a loop cut. Oops, I did the decimal key. Let's see, for instance, you want to add one in here, control R. And then maybe you want to pull this one up here. You can do stuff like that too. Control Z, Control Z, undo. All right. I'm going to take this to object mode, tab key object mode, put down the middle mouse button, examine the, the turtle head. Cool. Looks like a reptilian head. Good enough. Uh, maybe those points there kind of don't like those. So I'm going to pull those back. Select that one. Select that one there. I'm back to edit mode. G for grab. Just pull it up. There we go. And then tab key back to object. Cool. All right, so now I'm going to make the turtle shell. And if you think about a turtle shell, obviously it's going to be spherical, right? Like a smash down sphere. So I'm going to bring in a UV sphere, place it somewhere behind the turtle. And then I'm going to use these scaling uh, tools here. You can also just freehand the whole thing as well. All right, so first I want to make sure that the um, cores are there, the 3D cores are there in the center near my head. If it's not, you shift S, hit Shift S for scale, Shift S for small. Uh, or selected and select course sort of selected and it'll select it to your turtle or course sort of world origin it'll put it there in the world origin and that's where your uv sphere will appear so i'm at seven for top view shift a shift a for add mesh you get shift a get the add menu go to mesh and uv sphere uh, i have some other stuff here added yours might not have this stuff in here go over here to uv sphere there we go uv sphere it's right inside the turtle head there I want to pull it up over here directly along the Y axis. So I'm at GY. And here we go. Just freehand it for now. We'll adjust it later. Just want to get it behind the, the turtle somewhere. And I'm going to reshape it here. So that's S, X, 7.5 enter. So it's going to scale along the X axis. S, X, 7.5 enter. There we go. Obviously, it does not look like a turtle shell. We're just getting the, the width there. All right. And then for the length, S, Y, 9, enter. S, Y, 9, enter. There we go. It's humongous right now. And then we're going to uh, scale it along the Z axis. S, Z, 2, enter. There we go. See? S, Z, 2, enter. There we go. Get it some depth. So then for top view, if you don't want it uh, so close to your turtle's head right there, you want to get some neck. The G, Y, and just pull it back to as much as neck you want to expose of your turtle. There we go. Probably going to adjust that later as well. So GY, pull the turtle shell back. All right, so I'm at three for right view, and I'm gonna take my uh, turtle shell here to edit mode, and I'm gonna start uh, playing around with the mesh there to make the turtle shell. All right, three for right view, decimal key on the numpad is that center it. There we go. Tap key, edit mode, shift Z for wireframe. And I'm gonna drag select the top half there, including the, uh, the middle vertices right there. Drag select the top half, including the center vertices there divide up the top half all right i'm going to scale those up by 10 percent it's going to be s 1.1 enter s 1.1 enter there we go so you're looking like a turtle show all right loop select the uh, the middle edge hold down the alternate key as you left click the, the center loop and then scale that out all right so i'm going to select this loop here just the one right here and I'm going to scale that out as well by 10%. So to do that, hold on the alternate key and click on the edge. Don't click on the vertex. You might not get the edge that you're looking for. See, I didn't get that. I want to get this right there. So click on the edge itself, not the vertex. The vertex is the dot. The edge are those lines there. So it's S, 1.1, enter. There we go. Shift Z so we can check it out. See, there we go. Looking like a turtle shell. And like I said, we're probably going to adjust the, the shell again. So that's okay. Just leave that alone. That's, uh, that's separate. That's an object mode. We'll adjust that later. Three for right view, shift Z. Back to the handout. See what's coming up next. All right. So we're going to make little shoulder pads for the, uh, the, the limbs, for the arms and the legs to extrude from. So you want to select whatever you want to be the shoulder pads. Shift Z for solid. And I'm going to go with um, maybe this one right here. So that's uh, one, two, three, four from the, from the front over there. And I have one for the rear legs here. One, two, three, four, maybe five right here. And seven for top view. And maybe I don't want that one. I'll shift, click it again, and then I'll click this one here. This one, this one looks good for me. And I'm going to go directly across over here. 
the shift, select that one, one directly across from it, and then the one directly across from that on the other side. There we go. So they should mirror there. All right, so I got those selected. I'm gonna hit three for right view. Let's see, I'm gonna pull these up along the Z axis, but I pull them up right now. Let me show you, GZ, kind of looks really pointy. And then it goes inside of the other mesh in there. And that's not good modeling, we don't want that. So we're gonna use a proportional editing tool. That's right over here, there's a bullseye. Click on that. You can also hit the O key on your keyboard, O for Oscar, and it turns it off and on as you can see there. All right, so now that it's on, I'm gonna hit G for grab again, and then Z, and now I got a circle there, you see that circle? It's like your area of influence, like how much influence you want your mesh to have on the rest of it. So if I make it bigger, it'll pull up additional mesh. So you can see other mesh that's not selected, pulls it up as well. There we go. And then you can, I'm making this circle bigger by spinning the wheel on my mouse. You can also use page up and page down on your keyboard to change the size of it as well. That looks good right there. Examine that. I'll take it. All right. Now I think we work on the on the back of it, the spine right here. All right. Ooh, we're gonna do the tail. All right. So I'm gonna hit send for top view, and then I'm gonna left click the end right here where the tail would be at. We'll hold down the control key and select the center part here. There we go. I'm gonna GY pull it up. There we go. It's pulling up some of the mesh there too. Let's make a pointy tail. Cool. And then in the handout, actually, we don't select that whole segment. We just select the, the control Z undo that. We just select this hip here. Just left like that. GY, pull it up. And you can make it as pointy as you want. And you want super aerodynamic turtle, aqua dynamic. There we go. And now we're gonna select the whole loop to make the, the back of the turtle. So I got that one selected there. I'm gonna hold on control, like the middle one. So we all know if you, have, if you have something selected, hold on the control key, select another uh, point, and it'll select the um, the shortest path, the least resistance, to so select the other one. Now I know there's a vertex there. I want to select this here. So I'm holding on control, left click there, got it. Cool. So now I'm hit three for right view. And you, this one you can freehand, you can just hit G for grab and just pull it up. See? If you want to go directly up and down, just hit the Z key. You can do that. I'm going to hit G for grab and I'm going to go back a little bit go and if you look at an actual sea turtle because you make the sea turtle actually um i went online and i looked at pictures of sea turtles and they actually kind of have like a hump in the front control g for right view I mean, g for grab and kind of bring that one up a little bit more there we go all right so i'm gonna hold down the middle mouse button and examine my mesh here cool looks uh hydrodynamic got the hump there if you don't want that big giant hump you don't got to do that you want to G for grab and then bring it back down. All right, so I'm at the tab key. And send for top view. GY, pull the turtle show back a little bit more. Make some of that neck there, cool. All right, so now I'm gonna make the first arm. I'm gonna make one arm. I'm gonna shape it, and then I'm gonna duplicate that one to make the other limbs. So I'm gonna bring in a UV sphere, shift A, mesh, Shift A brings up the add menu, go to mesh, and then UV sphere. Here we go. There it is, G for grab, and place it over here where the arm would be. And as you can see here, here's the geometry of it. it has the, uh, like, a north pole and a south pole. I want this one to kind of be the end of the arm, and the other one to be the beginning of the arm. So that means you got to rotate it. So center for top view, decimal key to zoom in center. So I'm going to rotate along the y-axis by 90 degrees, so this is pointing that way. So R, Y. 90 enter. See, there we go. So that's uh, that's what uh, that's how I want the geometry to be. That'll make it easier to shape the arm. All right. So I'm going to scale this up along the x-axis. I'm going to make it six times longer. S X six center. There we go. It's okay if it's inside the your turtle right now. We'll adjust it later. All right. Now I'm going to take it to edit mode, and I'm going to drag select uh, most of the vertices here on the right side. One, two, three, four, five. So after the Five, the five on the left. Tab key, there we go, here's the row of that, Shift Z. And we don't gotta worry about this other stuff because I didn't take that into edit mode. I just have this UV sphere there. So one, two, three, four, five. So drag select everything. So I got that drag selected there. 
I'm going to rotate it, try to create the shape of the uh, of the arm there. And fortunately, you got the uh, proportional editing tool there activated. This helps me create the, the arm. I still want to look kind of round, not too much. See, that just looks kind of crazy. So I don't want to get those sharp corners too far in there. Cool, that looks good there. All right, and I think, uh, did I pull it there? I think I made the circle bigger. So let me undo that, Control-Z, R, bigger circle. There we go, that looks neater. So I just made the circle bigger, and it gave me a better, smoother looking arm there. Cool, there you go, make the circle bigger. All right, so I want to make this uh, arrow hydrodynamic as well. So I want to try to select this uh, edge loop right here on the inside of the arm. So I'm going to hit Shift-Z for a solid view and try to get this view here. It's by holding down the middle mouse button. We can hit three, eight a couple times, and then four on the number pad, sorry, six on the number pad, so you can see the inside there. Maybe hit two, there we go. Three, one, two, three, four. All right, so I had three on the number pad, and then four times, six on the number pad to try to get this view here. So I'm holding on the alternate key, and I'm gonna left click that edge there. Cool, I got that edge there. I'm gonna pull it out this way along the y-axis, also using the proportional editing tool. GY, pull it out, make the circle smaller. And let's see, smaller, left click there, see how that looks. Cool, let's get in there, GY, smaller. You can do it in, in one stroke or, or more. I wanna look at aerodynamic. There we go, so let's look at aerodynamic there, just like a sea turtle arm. Nice, nice. All right, so right now the, the origin is right here. See that dot right there? That's the origin. If I were to rotate this whole arm and go back to object mode, tab key, or if it rotates, it's going to rotate with respect to that right there. I want it to rotate with respect to this point here. That's going to be the inside of the, of the body for the, um, to be inside of the body of the turtle. So I'm going to shift Z for wireframe, and I'm going to select this point there. Might be hard to see, but as long as you get something close to there at the very end, it should be in. That was the, I think it used to be the south pole of the UV sphere, sphere, sphere there. All right, so I don't want to move the 3D cursor over there, so I got it selected. I'm going to shift, S for Sam, and cursor to select it, it's going to jump over there. Cool, and now I'm at the tab key object mode. Now I'm going to right click this and select set origin and origin to 3D cursor. It's going to move this yellow dot over there to the 3D cursor. Origin to 3D cursor, there it is, cool. So now if it R for rotate, it's going to rotate there. There we go. Now I'm going to try to position this inside the body here. Shift Z for solid view, V for right view, GY, spring it in right here where the shoulder part was at. Go too far in there. GX, pull it out. Take a look there. All right, I'm at seven for top view and then nine for opposite view. Oops. Seven for top view, nine for opposite view. There we go. Now you can see the uh, bottom of it there, G for grab. And it's going inside of it. It's kind of hard to see because um, the new, new version of Blender. It shows an outline of the meshes inside of it. So it's in there, so that's good. And I'm gonna animate it, kind of look at from the top so you wanna be able to tell if it's really in there or not. There we go, that's good, cool. So now uh, we can start coloring it, or we can start making the duplicates. So we'll duplicate it first. So I'm gonna create a duplicate of this, and I'm gonna rotate it, flip it along the Y axis, so it gives me the opposite of that. Shift D, R, Y, 180, Enter. There we go, cool, just flipped it over. GX and just pull it out over here. Shift Z for wireframe. Let's see if I can try position in the same spot. Let's see there, that's about the same spot. So I'll leave it there. Now I'm gonna hold on the Shift key and select this one. Let's see, hold on Shift, left click. Why aren't we getting it? Are we in edit mode, no? Shift Z, there we go. I think it was just a glitch, seven for top view. I'm gonna duplicate these and I'm gonna move them back. Shift D Y, pull them back over here. And these I'm gonna make smaller. The uh, the rear legs, the hind legs of the uh, sea turtles, actually smaller than the ones in the front. There we go. I just freehand it. I just said S for scale and it's pull them down to to whatever look good. And I'm at seven for top view, then nine for bottom view. Or you can also hit um, Control Seven. Gives you the bottom view there too. Let me zoom in. I'm going to select one individually and just rotate it so it points back a little bit more. And this one too, R, rotate it. I'm just freehanding it. And select these together, GY, move them up a bit. Make sure they're inside of it. Make sure that that shoulder 
the pad area. Cool, that looks good there, set for top view. And there we go, there's our sea turtle. Head looks good there, low poly sea turtle. Uh, if you want, you can smooth it out, but it's, gonna look, it's not gonna look cool. Just right click, shade smooth. That does not look good, see? <laughs> so I'll just leave it shaded flat. So we just stay with that look. All right, so now let's color the turtle. So I'm gonna go with uh, green. I'm gonna select one of these limbs here, color it green. Over here, new, and name your materials. Green, and I'm gonna go in here and select green in the color wheel. So I want a base color, click on the white bar to the right of base color, get a color wheel. Uh, the thing on the right, that's the value. I can bring it down and make a darker green. There we go. You can't see it right now because we're in the solid viewport shader. So go over to render, which is this little bubble right here. You can also hit the Z key and select the top option there. See? Oh, I accidentally made it black. So let me click in there again. If you bring the value all the way down, it's going to make any color you have, it's going to make it black. All right. There we go. Cool. That looks good. I want to make this one also green. So I already created the material. So I can just click in here and select green from there and click on the head. And instead of hitting the plus sign, just click on the marble here and select green from there. Same thing for this one. Oh, you know, I forgot to make a tail. And I can make a tail with, uh, with the Nyquil sphere but I'll leave it like that. All right, so sea turtles are actually, um, actually have a different colored skin. It's kind of like a, a brownish color. Same thing with the shell, it's like a dark brown color and the bottom's kind of yellow, but just a cartoon turtle. So turtles in general, when you think about the cartoon of a turtle, they're, they're green, right? Just the essentials of the colors of turtles. I'm gonna make the shell brown, so I'm at new. Call this one brown. Remember materials, the red BMW logo here. Click inside the white bar, and we'll go over here towards the red and oranges. And then bring the value down to so get a darker color. And there we go, that's my dark brown there. And the bottom of the shell is like a beige color, a yellow color. So control seven, get the bottom there. I'm gonna take it to edit mode, because right on object mode, I can only color it one color. So I'm gonna hit the tab key for object mode, sorry, for edit mode. Then I'm gonna drag select the whole bottom side of it there. There we go. And then that way I can color that a different color. So I got that selected. So over here, I need to make a new color. So I'm at the plus sign for the new material. New, call it beige or off white or yellow. Yellow, go to base color here and go to the yellowish area here. There we go. Hit a sign and it's there. It's kind of hard to see because of the, uh, the selection. So with the tab key, get out of it. And there it's got that other yellow color there. Cool. And then the uh, sea turtle actually on the shells, they have kind of spots like, uh, what you gonna call it, like a giraffe. All right, so there's a low poly sea turtle. Zero for camera view, see what the camera sees, big head right there. All right, so I wanna be able to move the shell and have the whole turtle move. So I'm gonna parent all the limbs, including the head to the shell. So the shell will be the dominant object and everything will follow along with the shell. So I'm gonna click on the head first, we'll hold on the shift key and individually select the limbs here. Make sure not to accidentally select the, the light or the camera over here. So I got those selected, now to select the shell last. Cool, so the shell should have the yellow glow while your other objects should have that, um, that red orange outline, the shell should have the yellow one. That means it's the active object. And if you're parenting, that's gonna be the parent. So control P, you get the parent menu and I'm gonna go with object right here, object. There we go. So let me just click on the shell by itself. Left click. G for grab to test it out. Cool. I'm going to right click to turn it off and put it back. So if I hit this one, G for grab, it will move individually, but it didn't move with the rest. But you can see a dotted line there. See R for rotate. Cool. So I'm going to click on the shell. See over camera view. And I'm going to zoom out a bit. I'm going to scale down the shell and everything will scale down with it. That's for scale. There we go. Let me start out right there. I'm having to zoom in through the through the camera there. Let me test it out GY. Cool, not too big. That's for scale. GY. And I just right click after this. That way I don't commit to those changes. It just turns off the tool. All right, so I want to start animating this. So did that light look good with me? Let's see. GY. Is that lighting good? I'll take the lighting. That lighting, that lighting is good. I'll leave the light alone there. Mid A to select all. Let me bring up the timeline panel here. 
make sure I'm in frame one. And I'm going to re record everything being in frame one there. So I had A to select all, then I key. I'm going to choose lock, rock scale for location, rotation scale. Keyframe all of that right now. So just I'm just telling Blender that at this frame, everything should be here. I'm going to click the shell. Now over a frame, how long should we make this animation? What do I got here on the handout? How far do we go? <clears throat> Go to 250 or 200, 200 frames. So we'll go all the way to 200 frames. All right, so frame 200. And now I'm gonna hit uh, G, actually hit zero for camera view. G, Y, swish it across the camera there. And you wanna get the tail at the end right there, the end. Then I key, lot rot scale, cool. All right, so I wanna hit send for top view and I wanna get the, uh, the motion here of the lens. All right, just moving forward. So let's say around frame, let's go to frame 50. Drag select the whole turtle. I key, lot rot scale. And then we're frame 100, go to 100. I'm gonna reposition the limbs here. I'm gonna move them forward. So it's from top view, R forward, R forward, R forward. R forward. All right, so now, oops, I uh, should have turned on the record button. So I'm gonna have to do this a little different. I'm gonna select all of that there. I key light rod scale. All right, so turtle comes out. Limbs come out. And I'm gonna go over to 120 here. Click over for camera view. Can I see that there? Yeah. So for top view, I'm gonna turn on the record button. There we go. This is automatic key. I click individual limb here. R for rotate and put it back. See, there's a key from that. R for rotate and put it back. Maybe a little bit more back. I have to individually rotate these. R for rotate, bam. All right, do for camera view. Go back to frame one, play button. There we go, got some movement there. Cool, you know, I can just leave it like that. That looks good. Nice. Let's see, I wanna color the uh, the background there, an ocean color. I'm gonna go over here to world. Once I color, and let's go with the darker color there, like a blue color. There we go. Leave the strength alone, because if you start changing that, that blue color is gonna bounce off of the turtle there. So let me see, let me hit F12 one time, so I can get a preview here. Or whatever frame I was on. So I had F12 on my keyboard. I render me a picture. Cool, that's a good color there. I'll stick with that. Close it out. Now to render my animation. And go here to render. And get occlusion. Give me better looking shadows. A uh, blue. Motion blur. Just uh, helps out with the lighting and stuff. But the movement. All right. So we're here to render. Resolution, I'll leave it at 100. Uh, from PNG, I'm changing to AVI JPEG. Be an AVI file. I click on the folder here and choose a place to save it. Desktop, name this here. C Turtle Do Four Out, dude. Accept. And if you like, I mean, you can always go back and add some changes to the color. Maybe put like a red or blue bandana on your turtle. Not that it's gang related, but maybe it's just a Ninja Turtle. All right, so I got all that set up right there. Now to render my animation. A couple ways I can do that. I can go to Render, Render Animation. The other one is Control F12, and then just wait patiently. Uh, oops, let me see, I forgot one thing. This is uh, 250 frames, so at the end, there's nothing going on. Because I'm not rendering up to 250, just 200 frames. Let me change the end down to 200. There we go, because there's nothing happens after 250. The turtle's going to end up just staying there. It's going to be a little boring. All right, so now Control F12, after I cut down the uh, frame count. Also cut it down right there. Control F12, wait patiently and enjoy. Here we go, here's my animation. The 200 frames, turtle swimming there. Uh, retrospect, I should uh, pay more attention to this detail there. The arm goes inside of the shell. Maybe not rotate the arm as much in there or rotate it down so it points, uh, points upward in there instead of going directly into the shell. So there you go, thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.